What would you like to talk about today? Maybe, maybe sports? Maybe politics? No. We're only going to talk about ethnicity on this. Because that's, that's what you support. I'm a libertarian. I respect the free market. You, you're the free market. You're saying, hey, Nick, I'm spending my time to watch your videos on ethnicity more than anything. So, a host like me, who's smart, is going to think, okay, let me cater to you, the audience. Now, I received a comment on a video I made last week called, Are these DNA tests for ethnicity even accurate? Now, Olivia Gomez, she commented, and I got to say, I think she's probably my, she's one of my mo biggest fans, I think. Uh, she's watching a lot of my videos, commenting on a lot of them, leaving long comments. She's spending a lot of time, she's investing a lot of her time to watch my videos and comment on them. So she, I'm thinking she's one of my biggest fans here and, and newest subscribers, Olivia Gomez. Here's what she said, quote, ethnicity and ancestry are not the same thing. Cultural identity is not the same thing as genetic identity in all cases, end quote. So, Simple concept, I, I'm sure I've touched on that before, but I just wanted to make a video to officially uh, acknowledge that. Um, you know, and I think it's inter interesting too to think, why exactly do we, why is it fascinating to take a DNA test? And I think part of it is that you know who you are as a person. Like for me, as, a, as an American who grew up in the South in Alabama, that's my identity, you know? But then I take these tests and find out, hey, I had a great grandmother who was Jewish. I had a great grandfather who was mainly Middle Eastern, you know, and and that's kind of the opposite of growing up. What I really how things were in Alabama, you know, that's that's interesting. And so yeah, they're absolutely two different things. Your ethnicity and your culture, they can be two different things. What I should say, or they can be the same thing. And I think that's part of the fascination on why we take these tests because we're able to. Look at who we believe we are as, an, as a person, culturally, as identity-wise. And then we look at our DNA test and think, huh, well, here's some things in my DNA that don't exactly match up with how I think who I am as a person. So it's very interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's, to, to say that out loud, that's absolutely true. Uh, ethnicity and ancestry are not the same thing. Cultural identity is not the same thing as genetic identity in all cases. And I'd even argue in many cases, if not maybe even most cases, we're finding so many people that are surprised by maybe their 8% something that they never would have, have thought that. So I think, here's what I'm theorizing. I'm theorizing that this dichotomy is actually one of the most fascinating things about these DNA tests. Because what have I always been saying? I've said, we're fascinated by the fact that we're taking these tests and, and everyone seems to be surprised by something on their test. There's some kind of surprise for everyone. So we can look at that ethnicity that, oh, I didn't know I was 10% Polish. I thought I was only British or whatever it is. And you think, okay, in your head you're thinking, well, culturally, what about Polish people? I wonder if there's any part of me that somehow links back to that as far as me now. You know, now that I think of it, I really love Polish sausage or whatever it is. So they're not necessarily the same thing. Often they're not, often they are. There's a dichotomy and we, the individuals, get to basically sort that out. I think that's, again, why, there's so many reasons we like to take these DNA tests and to talk about them. But I definitely think that that dichotomy and deciding how much of our DNA reflects our culture, I think that is a big part of why we like to take these tests and to discuss the results. What do you think?